Good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs of 30th January first question is in which year india would participate in international student assessment right answer is 2021 so india will participate into 2021 program for international student assessment that means pisa india will participate into this program after a boycott of 9 years if we talk about pisa it is a international survey in which students are assessed the survey is to evaluate the education system worldwide therefore in order to participate in this event mhrd that means ministry of human resource development has signed an agreement with oecd that means organization for economic cooperation and development if we talk about oecd it is a intergovernmental organization it was formed in 1948 the headquarter of oecd is in Paris in France if we talk about education in India every year on 11th of November national education day is celebrated it is the birth anniversary of maulana abul kalam azad he was the first education minister of independent india every year on 24th of january international day of education is celebrated that one was national day of education this one is international day of education if we talk about the initiative taken by mhrd recently Recently MHRD has constituted a task force to look into the issues of suicides into Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalayas this task force will be headed by Dr Jitendra Nagpal MHRD also started a 70 point grading index initiative the objective of this initiative is to assess the quality of school education in the states next question is which indian personality has been appointed as the WHO regional director for southeast asia Right answer is Dr Poonam Khetrapal. So Dr Poonam Khetrapal has become the regional director of WHO for Southeast Asia. Dr Poonam Khetrapal was the first woman to assume the office of WHO regional director for Southeast Asia in 2014 and now she has been reappointed for the second term. If we talk about WHO, it is World Health Organization. It was formed in 1948. The headquarter of WHO is in Geneva. in switzerland the parent organization of who is united nation economic and social council who was also in use as the first who global conference on air pollution and health held in geneva in switzerland the theme of this event was improving air quality combating climate change and saving lives next question is which union ministry has launched rdp india 2019 app for republic day parade right answer is ministry of defense so the ministry of defense has launched a mobile app rdp india 2019 to let people watch the highlights of 70th republic day event all over the world if we talk about this year republic day the president of south africa mr cyril ramaphosa was the chief guest of this republic day ceremony if we talk about south africa the most recent summit of brics also held in south africa in johannesburg brics stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. The president of Brazil is Mr. Jair Bolsonaro. He recently became the president of Brazil. The president of Russia is Mr. Putin. Prime Minister of India is Mr. Modi. The president of China is Mr. Xi Jinping and president of South Africa is Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa. There is one more connection with South Africa. Every year, Pravasi Bhartiya Divas is celebrated on 9th of January. 9th of January commemorates the return of gandhi ji from south africa to mumbai in 1915 this year the pravasi bhartiya divas was celebrated in varanasi the event was inaugurated by prime minister mr modi the theme of event was role of indian diaspora in building a new india and the prime minister of mauritius mr pravind jugnath was the chief guest of this year pravasi bhartiya divas event this year pravasi bhartiya divas was delayed to facilitate the dignitaries to participate in the kumbh mela the 2019 kumbh held in prayagraj next question is atal setu which is in news recently is built across which river in goa right answer is mandovi so mr nitin gadkari who is the union minister for road transport and highways inaugurated the atal setu this is a cable bridge across river mandovi in panji in goa it is named as atal setu in the memory of former prime minister atal bihari vajpayee recently his samadhi sadev atal 
was also dedicated to the nation. His samadhi is near Rajghat in New Delhi. Every year, 25th December, that is the birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee, is celebrated as Good Governance Day. In addition to that, recently Uttarakhand government also launched Atal Ayushman Uttarakhand Yojana. With this, Uttarakhand has become the first state in the country to offer universal health coverage. Uttarakhand also ratified the renaming of Jolly Grant Airport after Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Apart from that, recently the Ekana Cricket Stadium of Lucknow has been renamed as Bharat Ratan Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee Ekana Cricket Stadium. In addition to that, recently Maharashtra government launched Bharat Ratan Atal Bihari Vajpayee International Schools in Mumbai. Next question is, who has been conferred the Assam Republic Day Journalism Award 2019? Right answer is Mr. Dhirendranath Chakrabarti. Mr. Dhirendranath Chakrabarti has been conferred the Assam Republic Day Journalism Award for his lifelong contribution to the journalism. If we talk about Assam, as per the Niti Aayog's Sustainable Development India Index, Assam, Bihar and UP are the worst performing states while Himachal Pradesh, Kerala and Tamil Nadu are the top performing states as per this index. Assam was also in news as recently Prime Minister Mr. Modi inaugurated India's longest rail cum road bridge, Bogi Beel, over Brahmaputra River in Dibrugarh district of Assam. Assam was also in news because of Dwizing Festival. Recently, Ms. Dipali Bhothakur passed away. She was popularly known as Nightingale of Assam. Apart from that, Ms. Hima Das has been appointed as the Sports Ambassador of Assam. She is popularly known as Ding Express and recently UNICEF India appointed her as First Youth Ambassador of India. Next question is, which state government has decided to launch Yuva Swabhiman Yojana for Urban Poor Youth? Right answer is Madhya Pradesh. So the government of Madhya Pradesh has announced this Yuva Swabhiman Yojana for Urban Poor. Under this scheme, 100 days of employment will be provided to the youngsters from economically weaker sections in urban areas. Apart from that, they will also be given skill training by the government. If we talk about Madhya Pradesh administration, Mr. Kamal Nath is the chief minister, while Ms. Anandi Ben Patel is the governor of Madhya Pradesh. She has also been given additional charge of Chhattisgarh after the sudden demise of Mr. Balramji Das Tandon. Madhya Pradesh was also in news as recently Kadaknath Chicken of Madhya Pradesh got GI tag. GI stands for Geographical Indication. Madhya Pradesh was also in news as recently Kuno Wildlife Sanctuary has been declared as National Park for the facilitation of translocation of Asiatic lions from Gir National Park to Kuno National Park. Madhya Pradesh government was also in news. Recently, it has created a spiritual department. Earlier, Madhya Pradesh government was the first state government in India to start a happiness department. Now that happiness department will be incorporated into spiritual department. Madhya Pradesh government was also in news as recently the state government has started Jai Kishan Rind Mukti Yojana. It is a farm debt waiver scheme. Madhya Pradesh government was also in news as the first ever multi-skill park of India will be located in Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh. For that, the government of India and Asian Development Bank has signed a loan agreement. Additionally, the state government of Madhya Pradesh awarded Ms. Manju Mehta with Tansen Samman for 2018. Next question is, who has become the first Indian transgender to be honored with Padam Siri? Right answer is Nartaki Natraj. So Nartaki Natraj has become the first Indian transgender to be honored with Padam Siri. Nartaki Natraj is a renowned dancer from Tamil Nadu. If we talk about civilian awards in India, Bharat Ratan is the highest civilian award of country. Padam Vibhushan is the second highest civilian award in India, while Padam Bhushan is the third highest civilian award. Padam Siri is the fourth highest civilian award. Recently, President Mr. Ramnath Kovind has awarded Bharat Ratan to former President Mr. Pranab Mukherjee, Mr. Bhupen Hazarika, and Mr. Nanaji Desmukh. It should be kept in mind that Mr. Bhupen Hazarika and Mr. Nanaji Desmukh were awarded posthumously. Mr. Pranab Mukherjee is former President of India, while Mr. Bhupen Hazarika 
is a Assamese musician and Mr. Nanaji Deshmukh was a social activist. Till now, one naturalized citizen and two non-citizen has been awarded Bharat Ratan. Mother Teresa was awarded Bharat Ratan in 1980. She was naturalized citizen. While Mr. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan and Mr. Nelson Mandela were the non-citizen recipient of Bharat Ratan. Next question is, who is the head of IRDAI committee to identify systematically important insurers? Right answer is Praveen Kutumbe. So, Mr. Praveen Kutumbe is the head of IRDAI committee to identify systematically important insurers. If we talk about systematically important financial institution or systematically important insurance company, these are those institution whose failure might trigger a financial crisis. If we talk about IRDAI, it is Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India. It is a statutory body who is responsible for regulating and promoting insurance and reinsurance industries in India. The headquarter of IRDAI is in Hyderabad in Telangana. Mr. Subhash Chandra is the chairman of IRDAI presently. If we talk about few regulators in financial sector, RBI that is Reserve Bank of India is regulator for banking sector, SEBI that is Securities and Exchange Board of India is regulator for stock and capital market, IRDAI is a regulator for insurance sector while PFRDA that means Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority is regulator for pension sector, NABAD that is National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development is a regulator for financing rural development and SIDBI that is Small Industries Development Bank of India is responsible for financing micro, small and medium scale enterprises. Next question is who has become the Pakistan's first Hindu women judge? Right answer is Ms. Suman Kumari. She has become the first Hindu women judge of Pakistan. If we talk about administration of Pakistan, Mr. Arif Alvi is the president of Pakistan and Mr. Imran Khan is the prime minister of Pakistan. Recently, Pakistan has declared sugarcane juice as the national drink. Pakistan was also in news because of Kartarpur Corridor. The corridor will connect Sikh shrines of Dera Baba Nanak Sahib, which is located in Indian side of Punjab, and Gurudwara Darbar Sahib, Kartarpur, which is located on the Pakistan side of Punjab. If we talk about few other facts related to Pakistan, recently, Justice Tahira Safdar became the first women High Court Chief Justice in Pakistan. And Mr. Asif Saeed Khosa became the Chief Justice of Pakistan recently. Apart from that, recently, India-born Pakistani poet Ms. Famida Riyaz passed away. Next question is, which of the following states has been declared best state for active participation in Swast Bharat Yatra? Right answer is Tamil Nadu. So, Tamil Nadu has been declared as best state for active participation in Swast Bharat Yatra. If we talk about Swast Bharat Yatra, it was a national campaign which was launched on the occasion of World Food Day. World Food Day is observed on 16th of October. The objective of this campaign was to sensitize people about eating safe food and be healthy. This campaign has been launched in association with state government and it will be led by FSSAI. If we talk about FSSAI, it is Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. It is a body under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. FSSAI was also in news as recently it launched Heart Attack Rewind campaign for elimination of industrially produced trans fat. Thank you and that's all for the day.